What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video preview. Today we are going to take a look at Darth Vader Deluxe version. It feels like I've said that multiple times now. This is from the Return of the Jedi and when available you can pre-order this at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. Um, I was dead set on getting the Kenobi Vader because I don't have any Vader in my collection right now. I used to have the New Hope version. But that was deteriorating fast on me. So I was like, you know what? I will sell that while I still can. And then wait for the definitive Vader for me. I don't... I, I like Vader. You know, he's he's a very iconic figure. Everyone needs to have a Vader in their collection. At least one. And that's what I'm doing. I wanted one Vader. I don't need all the versions of the Vader. I just need one. And I'm, I've am i been waiting. You know, I... I passed by the 40th anniversary Vader. Um, now the Kenobi I want to get because it does have two head sculpts. It does have that element on it, right? Like it does have the battle damage chest piece. The base is beautiful and all that stuff. But now this one comes along. And I might call it a blessing in disguise, but I wasn't able to pre-order that deluxe Vader because on Big Bad, it was sold out. And rightfully so. It's a beautiful figure. It's still, if you're a Vader collector, if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan, I can understand getting both. Because that one has some elements that this one does not have, especially the head sculpt. You know, that kind of battle damage uh, helmet that he does have, the chest piece, the base. There's elements of that Vader that, you know, it's not present on this one. So for hardcore collectors or even just a, you know, Star Wars fanatic, uh, I can understand owning both. But for me, who's more of a casual, I appreciate Star Wars. I am I loved it more when it's like Mandalorian. I know it's sacrilegious to some, but Vader is always going to be Vader. But I only need one. I just need one in my collection. And this is the one. I can't think of anything that they can put on to make it even better. I mean, you got the head sculpt. You got three head sculpts, basically. One is... Something that we've never seen before, which is the light of function. Um, you got the hand or non-hand version. You got the steps that is beautiful that you could actually use in different figures. LED head sculpt, the helmet. Uh, they said that the chest and belt is LED light up as well, but they never mentioned anything about the lightsaber if it's, uh, if it's USB powered. So I don't know, because I'm reading the description right now on their website, and never, it never said anything like that. Uh, it does say interchangeable helmet inspired by, okay, shocked by force lightning. Okay, uh, the staircase diorama base, that I love that. Um, I Even the, the regular base where you, it does have the light of function. Look at that helmet right there. It does have a lot of details on it. The hand, which of course doesn't even be included in the Kenobi Vader, but for me, just for me, if you are just getting one Vader like myself, this is the one to get. And honestly, I would get the deluxe version if I was if I was buy. I will, I am gonna buy this. Um, there's just the deluxe version just packed so much punch. Now I don't know as the making of this video because there's no pre-orders yet. Um, but I'm guessing because the Kenobi Vader is three thirty, and this one compared to that, you know, let's. Let's take out the, the base and all that stuff. Um, it does have an extra head sculpt. This would be, I would say, around 380 if not more. And to be honest, if it's that's the price, I hope it's 380 or below, right? I, I hope it's 350 honestly, because it seems like every Hot Toys announcement right now has a purse, so it doesn't feel that much special. And I, I wouldn't say not doesn't feel special, but... It doesn't feel like that would be the difference between going up in price and not. Maybe the di diorama pieces uh, or the extra head sculpt. I don't know. But hopefully it's 350 and below. That's more, I guess, on the more optimistic side. Uh, but I would say 380. You know, 380 would be fair. Uh, considering if you uh, compare it to the Kenobi Vader. But man, I love this base. I, I love this. I, I can just see so many uses for this. Kind of reminds me of the Batman that they're doing. <coughs> but with that being said, I'm excited for this. Hopefully this comes out right away. 
Because I don't know if I can hold on that long without a Vader. Because I haven't had a Vader in a year, maybe more. Uh, and I've been looking forward to that Kenobi Vader. And I can imagine with the announcement of this, that would be available now at Big Bad all of a sudden. Uh, I, I, can, I can feel some cancellation out there. Now the question is, are they going to re-release or 2.0 Palpatine? Because he's being, you know, kind of showcased there. And I wouldn't be surprised to to go along with this Vader. I 40th anniversary, different packaging. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else they could add. Maybe light up hands, uh, you know, kind of like Electro. So that that might be a thing. I, who knows, right? Who knows? Uh, or maybe a two-pack of Palpatine. I don't know why they would do that. But it, it's Hot Toys we're talking about here. Anything that, you know, has money grab, they would probably do it. Uh, and a 2.0 Palpatine would be easy, easy money for them. You know, even if it's the same exact one, even if it's a reissue, uh, because it's sought after right now. So if you, if anyone out there has a Palpatine, um, cash in. <laughs> well, don't, you know, I don't know if they're really going to do that. It feels like they are going to do it, but, you know, obviously I don't have any uh, inside information. But to this figure, man, it's nothing I, th that I need from. They release this. I don't care about any future Vader that they release anymore. Well, maybe I'm just not all that educated when it comes to Vader. Maybe there's more that they could add into this. But let me know in the comments if there is. But in, in my opinion, this is what everyone's been waiting for. Um, you know, hopefully the head sculpt is is the same attachment. So you can interchange the head sculpt if, if needed be. You know, if you buy that, that Kenobi, look at the inside of that helmet. That is beautiful right there. But man, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is instant pre-order for me. And I don't even pre-order anymore. I just don't know when it's going to be released. Hopefully not. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long. This feels like the quarter scale version just shrunk down. And that that is one of the best Vaders out there, if not the best so far. And I I didn't buy it because I wasn't into quarter scale before. If I knew that I'll be that much interested in quarter scale, I would have bought it, honestly. But this is a great addition. This is the Vader to have. And I'm glad. I, I just hope, again, it's not two years in the making. So I can so I can finally have a Vader. Because I don't know if I can wait two years. I'll probably just buy the Kenobi and then just buy this when it comes out. I don't know, but we'll see. But thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what your reaction is to this Vader in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.